All right. If you're following my channel and other channels alike, you've probably noticed that there was a run on AT4040 microphone reviews. Well, now it's my turn. Who am I? I am. Seriously, really? You're going to cut me off? Really? Hey guys, what's going on? It's Low for Low Nose here to help teach and inspire you through audio, video, and tech. And today we're doing our not so ordinary review of the Audio Technica AT4040. Now, we could do your normal microphone review where I say, hey, this is a great looking microphone and probably one of the best looking microphones that I've ever seen with its packed in shock mount. And I could probably say, this is the box that actually comes with the microphone that actually holds it. I probably could say that, and I could also probably say that this is a cardioid microphone, and this is what the microphone sounds like when I'm talking in front, and this is what the microphone sounds like when I'm talking in back, and this is what the microphone sounds like when I'm behind it. I probably could do something like that, or I could also probably say, hey, you know what? Uh, I think there's a 10 decibel pad on this microphone. I probably could say that, and this is what the microphone sounds like with a 10 decibel pad on. And I also could probably say this is what the microphone sounds like with the 10 decibel pad off. And I also could probably say that I think there is a low cut filter uh, switch on this thing. And if there was a low cut filter on this switch, then this is probably what it would sound like if we engaged it. And this is what the microphone sounds like if I turned the low cut filter off. And also probably if I did a proximity test, this is probably what the microphone would sound like if I got up really close to the microphone. And this is probably what it would sound like if I got really away from it. And I also probably would say this is what the microphone sounds like with this type of windscreen on the microphone. And I also could probably say this is what the microphone sounds like with this kind of pop filter slash windscreen. This is probably what it sound like if I did have something like this on it. And I probably could go on saying that this microphone costs about $299 and I'll probably leave a link in the description down below in case you're interested about this microphone or wanted more details about the microphone. I probably would do something like that, but I'm not going to do all that stuff. Instead, what you want to know is what this microphone sounds like using the gear that you are using. You're probably not using the same gear that I'm using. So how does it sound like using gear that you're using or that is comparable to the gear that you're using? Well, let's get into it. I got you. All right, so the first thing is right now we are using this Yamaha. I spoiled it, didn't I? Right now we are using this microphone on my Yamaha mixer, the MG12. No, the M. Ugh, what the? F the MG12XU. We're using the MG. We're using the Yamaha mixer MG12XU. We are not using any kind of additional EQ, no compression. We are just using the straight up preamps for from that mixer to this microphone. So this is what it sounds like, the AT4040 on the Yamaha MG12XU. Now we're gonna hear what this microphone sounds like using the MBOX3. Now, if you don't have an MBOX3, that's okay. The MBOX3 is most comparable to other audio interfaces or other solo audio interfaces. So if you already have one or you're looking to get one, this is a similar sound or the sound that you can expect to get. All right, now this is what this microphone sounds like using the Avalon 737 SP, this is the kind of sound you can expect when connecting a tube preamp, those warm tubes, when using this microphone, the AT4040. Now, right now, we are just using the preamp. We don't have any compression or EQ, uh, EQ to apply. This is what it sounds like using those nice warm preamps of the Avalon 737 on the AT4040. Now, we're going to try this microphone on Aphex 230 Master Voice Channel. This is another tube preamp. The only difference between the other preamp is that this is a more of a broadcast preamp, so it adds a little more uh, fullness, tubiness, big tubiness, tubiness, big voice sound to your signal. So this is what the Aphex 230 with no compression, no, no EQ. We're just using the, the preamps, the two preamps within the preamp amp on this microphone this is what it sounds like all right now this is what this microphone sounds like on the zoom h4n this is an older handy portable recorder field recorder so if you ever have if you have something olderly like this this is the kind of sound you can expect from this microphone on this kind of device all right so now this is what this microphone sounds like on a zoom h6 handy recorder it's a field recorder is a more higher class field recorder than the zoom h4 but here you go this is what it sounds like the AT4040 on the Zoom H6 Handy Recorder. All right, so with that out of the way, we have a sense of what this microphone sounds like on all these other devices, but what does this microphone sound like in other environments? You know what I'm talking about. Let's go. This is what the microphone sounds like inside of a car. And this is what this microphone sounds like driving. And this is what it sounds like parking the car. And this is what the mic sounds like at a picnic. 
And this is what this microphone sounds like inside of a kitty splash pad. Get out of here. And this is what this microphone sounds like going down a 93 foot slide. Terrified of heights. Thank you, sir. And that's how you do it. Oh man. All right, well, this is what it sounds like getting kicked out of a mall. <laughs> and this is what it sounds like in front of a strip club. And now, this is what it sounds like going inside of a strip club. Maybe not. And this is what it sounds like to spit some fresh, fast flows. Now back to the business. Could you be the realest name? Anybody that do it better than doing our son silly. Chop them like they was on the cutting, but they thought that they was dealing with the beginning, but they the one new to this. 100% of the time, we should it all of the guy that wish somebody would get in my way. One of my, I told him I wouldn't stop for a little while, but then I told him we wouldn't stop, so I can't stop now. Uh oh. And this is what it sounds like inside of a Maserati. Hey, yo, what are you doing inside of my car, man? Oh, shit. And this is what it sounds like getting outside of a Maserati. Go, 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 go. <sighs> Uh, uh, all right, well, you get the idea. This is what this microphone sounds like doing anything and everything. Guys, let me know what you think about this microphone. Also, I'll leave a link in the description down below so you can see more reviews. And also, if you want to get this microphone yourself, you can do that as well. Oh, boy. All right, well, if you liked the video, go ahead. Leave a like. Loved it. If you loved it, feel free to subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about this microphone. And as always, hit me up on my social medias. Until next time, guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye. Get out of here. Oh, boy.